Good morning and welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students by the students. I'm Daniel Pronti. And I'm Valeria Drybouchard, here with Becton's November monthly news report. This month, our own Chef Emilio hosts a pie sale for the upcoming holiday. Pies will be sold to teachers and students at $7 each, so be sure to save your money on hand to purchase. Mmm, I could have really used some pie right about now. Pumpkin and pecan both sound delicious. Yeah, right? Well, there's nothing like a good feast. This month, we celebrate Thanksgiving and Native American Heritage Day. Let's celebrate this month cherishing all of our friends and family. This November, students are also participating in raising money for this month's Turkey Trot fundraiser. This freshman sophomore class fundraiser requires you to purchase a feather for a dollar and the teacher who wins the most feathers gets to transform it into a turkey for the day. As life returns to normal for many, millions of American families continue to experience daily challenges. The start of the school year can be stressful time in a normal year. And for some children, the cost of school items and clothes can be a struggle. Help make donations to Stuff the Bus this month. Mr. Coons will have more information, so be sure to listen to announcements and see posters. Becton's band and cheerleaders brought the East Rutherford Fall for All Festival to life. The festival took place by the police department by Wildcat Way. East Rutherford's finest showcased their own events and equipment with the residents of the community. Becton has their very own tent with Becton's band and cheerleaders being showcased throughout the festival. This month, we celebrate over 30 students who will be inducted into the National Honor Society. Following the annual event, we have the Spelling Bee Battle against Rutherford High School on November 24th, right before the holiday break. Be sure to catch a glimpse of this competition on stage in the JW Performing Arts Center. While the winds are blowing and leaves are falling, it truly feels like fall. Let's head over to Saray for this month's weather report. Well, the chill is certainly in the air. It's really starting to get cold out there, even with that sun shining. But if you love fall, then you're ready for the smell of campfires and the sight of beautiful leaves falling from trees. Here in New Jersey, you see that we have dry skies, which will remain constant for the next few days. Temperatures in the high 40s and low 50s with a mix of some rain in northern Jersey later on this month. So be sure to bundle up around this time of year with an umbrella and your backpack just in case. And if you're traveling for Thanksgiving, be sure to check temperatures and weather conditions around your area. Well, that's going to do it for this month's weather report. I'm Suri Fernandez, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Suri. Looking forward to spend some time to relax with family and friends around a campfire. And speaking of relaxing, it's now time to find peace before those hectic family holidays. Let's head over to Miss Gowda for our wellness break. Hello, this is Mrs. Gatto coming at you again from the Wellness Center here at Becton, and this month's wellness topic centers around gratitude. Gratitude means gratefulness or thankfulness, and psychologists have defined gratitude as positive emotional response that we perceive on giving or receiving benefit from someone. Studies actually prove that gratitude can increase happiness, reduce depression, and strengthen resiliency. You may even increase your energy and have higher self-esteem if you practice gratitude. And if you capture grateful thoughts right before bedtime, you can actually have better sleep. Gratitude actually rewires our brains, kickstarting the production of dopamine and serotonin. These feel-good neurotransmitters activate the bliss center of our brains and create feelings of happiness and contentment. And the more we practice that gratitude, the more these neurotransmitters travel on those pathways and make happiness our constant state of being. What are some ways that we can begin practicing gratitude right now? Well, we can celebrate our minor accomplishments. We can focus on what we have rather than what we don't have. Uh, tell the people in your life what you appreciate that, about them and tell yourself too. If you wanna do something more formal, you can start with a gratitude journal like this one right here and write down three things every night that you are grateful for. And you'll find that you move through the day a little bit differently, noticing the little things so that you can add them to your nightly list. And then you'll start to find all the gifts that you have in your life all around you. Gratitude begins to push out negativity and changes your perception. When you change your perception, you can change your existence. Start today and begin living with an attitude of gratitude. Thank you.
Thanks, Ms. Gatto. I feel calmer already. Now it is time to showcase the new staff in our English department for this month's teacher feature and November's student of the month, Caitlin Nazca. Hi, my name is Valera Debrashar and I'll be introducing this month's teacher feature. Becton English teacher returns after 13 year hiatus. Ms. Turvey, now a sophomore English teacher, took time off and returned to inspire students to love literature through her interactive lessons. Hi, I'm Ms. Turvey, I teach English 10. I like being an English teacher because of the students. I like to interact with the students, I like to help them think critically and generally experience of watching them grow and watching them become better writers and readers. My favorite memory of Becton goes back to the first year I taught here, actually in 97, 98, where I had mostly seniors and they graduated. I had all these students to watch and see them grow up and it's really special, it's a beautiful ceremony. I'm Dr. D'Souza and this is my teacher feature interview. I teach freshman English, ninth grade English, and 11th grade English. My mom was a uh, middle school English teacher and some of my fondest memories are when we were grading papers together uh, when I was a little kid, although now I realize that I think she was just using me for my labor. I think that the biggest thing that students should take from high school is to be a good person. So be a good person. Uh, you know, life will, you'll, you'll have decisions to make and make the right choices and you'll be all set. This is my 16th year teaching. Uh, high schools I taught at Don Bosco Prep, DePaul Catholic, and Immaculate Conception of Montclair. Why did I want to teach here? I actually believe in what Dr. Sforza is telling us about uh, educate the human. You know, you're more than just grades. And so uh, it was also an exciting time for me to move from a, a private school to a public school uh, because of all of the new things that are happening at Becton. So that's why I'm here. Go back then! I'm Dr. D'Souza, and if you want to irritate Dr. Sforza, just tell him my degree is better. Thanks, everybody. Catch you later. Hi, I'm Ms. Pullman. I'm an English teacher here at Becton. I teach the juniors. I'm also teaching the journalism class because I'm in charge of the Cat's Eye View newspaper, and also I'm in charge of the junior class, and I'm a co cheerleading coach as well. I went to Montclair State University. I love teaching high school students, especially the juniors. I teach um, 11th grade English primarily. I teach an honors class and then three regular courses. And then I teach a mix of students in my journalism class between seniors, sophomores, and juniors. My favorite novel to read is The Great Gatsby that I read in Miss Scalera's class in 12 IP when I was here at Becton. So I was a cheerleader here at Becton when I attended Becton because I'm a Becton alumni and I was very fortunate to learn under Miss Sclera as a um, student and athlete. So when she was turning over the program, I jumped on it very, very quickly. I am so happy to be back here um, as a Becton alum because there are so many other Becton alumni teachers, but also because I loved my teachers in high school and I love them even more now. Um, they they have been so, so supportive and helpful and they are to every new, new teacher, not just me, but it's been, I've been feeling really, really grateful to be back and feel so confident and comfortable in my teaching environment. Hobbies and interests include participating in the varsity sports here at Becton. In addition to this, I participate in the clubs such as Key Club, Ball Club, and Girls Helping Girls. And with this, I also am a member of the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society where I plan on giving back to my community. The most memorable moment in high school for me was when my softball team became division champ for the year of 2021 and we beat Immaculate in September. The extracurriculars that have meant the most to me were sports, especially soccer and softball. Here, I was able to create new friends and ultimately create one big family. My future plans include attending college outside of New Jersey, where I will major in accounting and minor in psychology. From there, I plan to attain a job with the FBI. 
Thinking about my future makes me nervous, but I'm overly excited to see what my future has to hold. This past month, Beckton has had a blast with many festivities, kicking it off with a spooky Fright Fest pep rally, raising over $500 for breast cancer awareness. Our very own Pink Out at the Battle of Patterson Ave volleyball game also helped raise awareness for this important cause. Speaking of intense games, this month our football game had a fierce battle against the Hasbro Heights football team during our homecoming game. During halftime, senior homecoming nominees had an opportunity to walk through the runway as their impressive biographies were read by the announcer. Congratulations to George Casper and Alyssa Kirk for being crowned homecoming king and queen at this month's homecoming game. Congratulations to all who were nominated and participated in the annual tradition. And if you don't know what to do with all that leftover Halloween candy, don't throw it out. This month, the Key Club is collecting uneaten Halloween candy and sending it to our troops as well as monetary donations for shipping fees. Please see Ms. Emilio to make donations in room 103. What a great way to contribute to our troop, especially during Veterans Day this month. That's right. This November 11th is Veterans Day, and Beckton is showing their appreciation by displaying flags around the campus. Well, a lot of great things are happening, which just reminds us that there are a lot of things to be grateful for. Be sure to tune in next time to see what's happening at Vected. That's going to do it for this month's news report on BTV. I'm Valera Jaibushar. And I'm Daniel Pronti. See you next time, and remember to give thanks this November.